Bishops across the nation, including our very own Bishop Edward Weisenberger, are advocating for a cleaner and greener environment. Tega 9's Hina Giuliano spoke to Bishop Weisenberger and one family impacted by pollutants. Hola, hola, como estas? I've been here my whole life, but also my family's generations for the past four generations. For some of those generations, Gabrielle Cardenas' family set up roots on the south side. Where my great-grandparents lived is in the Mission Manor area. But while their family grew, environmental issues grew around them too. During the, the 1970s and 80s that they discovered there was pollutants taking place that affected lots of other people in that community. She says they found pollutants led to a lupus diagnosis for her aunt and cancer for her uncle. He was diagnosed with leukemia at the age of three. Their two other siblings have like health problems as they've gotten older. It's led her to be a passionate advocate for the environment, even speaking at a panel at the Newman Center with the Diocese of Tucson's Bishop Edward Weisenberger this week. Exciting and inspiring to know that my religious leader is stepping forward. Because last October, Pope Francis again called on people to take care of the environment. So God has entrusted the world to us to steward on his behalf this beautiful garden. Just a few months later, Bishop Weisenberger went with other bishops and religious to the White House to advocate for the EPA's new pollution limiting rules. The EPA did enact those rules and regulations on, on methane and on soot levels. And this week, Bishop Weisenberger was honored for his work. Some small children brought me a, a beautiful drawing that they had done. He says the diocese is adding more solar panels to their buildings. St. Elizabeth Ann Seton School, their school has done extensive solar implementation. Because he says it's about leaving the earth healthy and strong. We need to cast out fear, which makes us strong and loving. And then we will respond to this crisis of ecology. Reporting from the Newman Center, Tina Giuliano, KGOT 9.